The Mbale Tirini Road incident is only one of the many negative outcomes of shoddy works, construction projects not properly supervised by government. But such cases may reduce if the Construction Sector Transparency Initiative Uganda lives up to its word. It is a country-centered initiative that drives better value from infrastructure by increasing transparency and accountability. A symposium held in Kampala today saw members of parliament blame government for not informing legislation about its works. Sometimes it's not the, 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 the problem of, of members of parliament. Sometimes the problem of the technical people. They are supposed to have made sure that it goes to cabinet, made sure that it has been taken to the, to the first parliamentary council. Then it comes to parliament. I can't pick it from the parliamentary council. No, I, I may not be able to do that. I can't pick it from cabinet. But at least the permanent secretary should be able to say, no, enough is enough. We've had this for a certain long time. It must go before parliament. The symposium comes at a time when the National Construction Industry Policy and the Building Control Bill is still in Parliament. Until such laws come to pass, construction standards and competitiveness will still be compromised. Uh, because uh, it is going to really greatly help in uh, bringing satisfaction to the citizenry uh, and ensuring value for money and uh, also sustainability of the projects in which the government will be investing. Some of the engineers who attended the symposium called on the government to practice by Uganda Build Uganda policy by contracting Ugandan engineers. There is a critical law that we must have for us to enforce the by Uganda Build Uganda. And this is the local content field. Maybe if the school bill is actually passed, then some of these issues it will be easier for our cost to implement some of these recommendations. Other bodies that aim at enhancing transparency and accountability in infrastructure construction in Uganda include Transparency International. If this initiative succeeds, the government will save billions of shillings lost in poor work and corruption every year. Report by Dias Walugembe for PM Live.